So welcome back to Matt Newman. Matt, I looking at last week's results, I don't know, I think you're a bit of a, an escapologist because I think you picked two winners um, out of the 12, which, which, was, which was far from spectacular, but you've got both your big anti-post selections through. You also didn't too too badly. You you, you lost on the on the overall punting on the day, but uh, not as badly as some. Um, you got out of jail, really. It was uh, it was a disappointing night overall. I mean, it, no great shock that the uh, the big priced pair went out by the by the bandy post. You know, they're both very left field and speculative. But I think while I'm disappointed with how things went overall, at least Bubbly Dancer and Kilkenny Santia threw in the Regency and Sussex Cup respectively. So moving on to to the, to this week, um, what you've learned from last week and um, what you fancy. Uh, where, where are we where are we going with the punts this week? All right, we've got four this week. Um, the first of which is in the seven eighteen, which is make noise a twenty pound win there. And um, he's just one for eleven in race action since winning the Puppy Derby at Toaster last December, but. When you look at the field he beat there, uh, Call Me Steve, Sign at Denver, Skywalker Forte, it was a strong field and he looked destined for the top at that point. Yeah, he made the semi finals of the Derby and um, picked up a, a win at Hove recently, which is his, his one win since that, um, that Puppy Derby final. I think he might just hold his position up the inside of uh, Bally Black Speed at the opening turn. He's a big boy, 36 kilos, and he tends to move off a touch so he can make a little bit of room for himself at that opening bend and then kick on down the back, hopefully. Excellent, excellent, good first choice. And what then what's next? Secondly, uh, Baby Bullet in the 756. She was well behind Havana Bailout when they met in the first round. Um, but for all that that rival is one of the smartest around when she gets it right, she doesn't always string similar runs together. Um, I think Baby Bullet is yet to show the same level of form at Hove as she has elsewhere. Strictly on the clock, she has a fair bit to find, but she does have a very nice slot to work from as the sole railer, so can take a little bit of a chance with her with £20 win. And moving on? Uh, yeah, Baggio's champ in the 8-17. Uh, this, this is the weakest semi-final of the Regency on paper, uh, and a move to a more middle slot in three. You can see him lead these up. He was... Unlucky last week, he got no luck at all from one. Uh, got to the open turn and he came out the back of the field like a cork out of a bottle of fizz. Uh, he lost three lengths, then had to check around the outside. Showed some nice middle pace before he lost another couple of lengths at the fourth bend when chopped off again, having to switch back to the outside. He definitely has a time in him if he comes away. I mean, he showed what he could do at, at Toast when he gets on the bunny at the start of May. And this looks a good opportunity for him to do exactly that. So £30 win on him. It's interesting that because that um, that's that's Joe's big fancy as well. So the two, two of you both zoned in on him in what it looks quite competitive. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, final one is a thirty pound win on Old Fort Chicago in the nine twelve. Um, she got knocked over on her track debut last week, which not ideal. Um, hopefully that's not affected her confidence too much. I can't imagine Kevin Boone would be running her if it did. And she was runner-up in the Bitches final on Derby night. Um, she has some very smart early pace in her locker. This doesn't look a race packed full of early boat. I think she can get on the bunny and uh, she'll have a much more enjoyable Saturday this time around. So we're, we're confident going forward. Are you confident with your anti-post still? Uh, they, they both have a slightly tricky draw in one. It's probably not ideal. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Bubbly Dancer will improve again for a first drive of proper six bends. Trev one's definitely a new test for her. She's in a tough spot to hold a position inside Bombardier going into that first bend, but you know, she, she's still the unexposed one. There should be plenty of improvement in the tank. I, I can see her coming through it. Uh, Kilkenny Santi, he's not trapped as well as he can in either his trial or the first round of the Sussex Cup. We ran into the fastest heat winner last week, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, again, I, I don't know whether trap one is going to be absolutely ideal for him. Um, but he is the sole railer in there, which at least gives some hope that he'll have the room he needs to, to make the decider. 